Now for this first part then we've got to solve this equation 3 sine of x plus 45 degrees equals 2 for x greater than or equal to 0 degrees but less than 360 degrees. So to do something like this what we need to do is first of all divide both sides by 3. Okay, So if we do that what we get is that the sine of x plus 45 degrees okay, equals 2 thirds, 2 divided by 3. Now don't make the mistake next of thinking that this is sine x plus sine of 45 degrees. You can't expand the bracket like you would with numbers. Okay, This is a function here, so you can't do that. What you've got to do to get x plus 45 degrees next is to inverse sine both sides. So therefore x plus the 45 degrees equals the inverse sine of 2 thirds. Now at this point what I would do is to draw a quadrant diagram. Something like this, okay? And if you're unsure about quadrant diagrams, I've got plenty of tutorials on my website on this. So this would be 0 degrees, we're working in degrees. This would be 90, 180, 270, 360 degrees again. And we have got the sine of an angle equals a positive value, two thirds being a positive value. So we should be familiar with this that all trigonometric functions are positive in the first quadrant and sine is only positive in the second quadrant. So it's the first and second quadrants that we need to draw a line in. Inclined equally to this horizontal axis, mark those two in. And what we want is x plus 45 degrees going from 0 to 360. So we need to turn in an anti-clockwise direction. Starting from here, the first to the first line is this turn, and this is x plus 45 degrees. This is a possible solution. The next solution, we start back from here, the zero line, turn to the next blue line, all the way around till we get to there. This too is another x plus 45 degrees solution. So what we need to do now is just inverse sign the two thirds. Okay, So let's just slip this up down here, move it slightly to the left x plus 45 degrees then equals the inverse sine of 2 thirds. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. Very easy to forget that you're in radians mode maybe from an earlier calculation. So just check that you're in degrees mode. And if you do the inverse sine of 2 thirds you find that you get 41.810 and so on. Okay, degrees. Now the common mistake that a lot of students I find make is to take the 45 degrees immediately away from this and then go on to do the quadrant diagram. Don't, okay? Always do the quadrant diagram at this point here. So this angle in here, this blue angle as you see here, is a possible 41.810 degrees, okay? That means that this one over here is also 41.810 degrees. So to get the green x plus 45 degrees all you've got to do is 180 degrees minus the blue angle here 41.810 degrees. And if you do that 180 minus 41.810 you get 138.189 and so on degrees. But it doesn't end there. Because in a moment we're going to be subtracting 45 degrees from both of these answers. This one will be a negative angle, out of bounds, out of range. This one will be okay when we subtract 45 degrees, but we would need to get another one. And the next one is to turn from here 360 degrees and then do this extra 41.810 degrees. So what I'm going to do is add 360 degrees then onto this value here. And if we do that you end up with 
0 0.810 and so on degrees. As I say, I know this is out of, out of this range, but this is x plus 45, not x. And so what we need to do now to get x is just take 45 degrees away from each one of these three values. If we take 45 away from 41.810 though, we get a negative number, minus 3.19 and so on degrees. So I'm going to put that in brackets because it's out of range. We want it between 0 and 360. Take 45 degrees away from the 138 odd degree angle and you end up with 93.189 and so on degrees. That's in range. And if we take 45 degrees from the 401 odd degree angle, you end up with 356.810 and so on degrees. So it's these two that are in range and we're told to give our answers in degrees to one decimal place. So finally then, we've got that therefore x equals 93.2 degrees. And for this one, it'll be 356.8 degrees. And both of those are to 1 dp, both to 1 dp. And I would always encourage you to write something like that, even though they ask us to do it to one decimal place. OK, so uh, hopefully that gives you some idea. You could do this by a graph, okay? You could sketch the graph of sine x, but to be honest, uh, I always think the quadrant rule is a lot quicker, and I would go with that for something like this. All right?